Change your mind? The crossroad this is from that journalist, right? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A <laughs> meetup in Shinjuku. Where did you learn about those kinds of things? Anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you... You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Think so? I thought this is normal. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building. Is this really going... We'll be counting on you. No way, man! Have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Oh yeah. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. 
Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now you kids have got to be high schoolers. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were... Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. I excuse me. Are you for real? For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future for a... What? Me? <laughs> yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyway. I see. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be... By the way... We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. I can't say nothing back. I feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. She reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. 
Lolachan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Pretty much already in Kaneshiro's pal. That was surprisingly easy. Where have you been? Been searching all <sighs> can face in twilight long without the without a sign. Without a grasp in the real question. Hmm. Make sure you close up.
okay. Yeah! Yes. Yeah. ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. <sighs> We'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so... What about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think... I see. Candidates found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then. What location would Kaneshiro think of as his... If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible, but you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a... I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. 
Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. Joker! Damn it! Joker! Joker! couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. Find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow. All right, we should get out of here for now. Run! It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. Our justice isn't going to be... We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. What else should I do? 
Well then. Close up. Hi. been scratched or bitten, have you? For real? I've been thinking lately, about those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Uh. I just remembered. Okay, I'm finished. This is it. Correct. No way.
We ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro, hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? <sighs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honest. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Hey, wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day, so they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we... Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after... Ryuji, get a taxi. Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills have come in handy. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? About three million. Ah! <gasps> For real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? 
It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and six in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real? I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. 
She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice? Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? But we're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Oh, that makes sense. But wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go. I'll just add this. 